hello I'm going to show you how to set a database into a J table without downloading any API or writing a single code so let's start by creating a project a new project let's name the project set database to table so let's open the table and create a source package a package so let's name it table data Let's right click the table data and create a J frame form. Let's let's name it J table data. Click finish. Now let's resize the form. Now go to palette. Select scroll pane and drag it to the form resize it to the size of the form go to palette again and select the table and drop it inside the scroll pane Now in my next video tutorial, I will show you how to set a particular data from the table to a test field beside it in order to update the contact or anything. I'm going to create a mouse click event to use in that tutorial. You can choose to do it now or not. If you do it now, there's one video. If you don't do it now, sorry, there's one video one of my tutorials that shows how to easily create a mouse click event so for the sake of this video i'll cre create a mouse click event if you don't do it too there's another video that i'll show you how to create an event so i'll go to mouse click event and mouse click so this is the mouse click event for the table so let's get back to the table right click on the table and select properties at the bottom now go to binding here sorry i didn't select the table select the table go to properties now come to binding here at the top and select the element here now you see binding source import data to form so select that a small dialog box will appear telling you to choose the database connection from which you want to import the data so i will import the data from class b the first database it's now connecting to the database so i'll select the table i only have one table which is called student so i'll select the table and click ok now i will rearrange the columns so that they will come from the first name first and the last name sorry the last name and the index number should be the last i'll click ok and close now the data from the database has been imported into the form successfully and as i promise you we didn't write any single code so now let's run the the form and see if our data will show Great. This is 
the data from the database which we've imported into the form thank you for watching this video tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to the page to the, to the channel